Yeah, you hear Puffy what in the back. The All right, so I know we just did that um, that conversation a little while ago about uh, Biggie and P Diddy, mm -hmm. and I know you said that you had never heard the song "What's Beef," mm -hmm. and so uh, I figured this would be a good opportunity for us to check it out. Okay. So, um, Let's go. so y'all can leave your thoughts in the comment section. Oh. We're gonna go ahead and uh, I didn't know we was recording. yeah, we're recording. We're doing <laughs> okay. this. We're gonna go ahead and check out this song, and then I guess you can give your thoughts okay. on it. Because you know you've only heard like the MTV singles from Biggie, right? You've never heard the songs that were on his album. Of course not. Why would I? We okay. think Charlotte. Oh, I mean, Mama C was gonna let me do that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Her mom was not let me listen to <laughs> hip hop music. All right, so we're gonna do this. Y'all can leave your thoughts in the comment section. This is what's beef. Let's go. The commission. That's a hearse. Uncle Paulie, P. Yeah. Diddy, Cesar Leo, De Janeiro. Yeah. So he Charlie. had, before this, he had the uh, album, it was called Ready to Die. And yeah. then this was Life After Death. I think this may have came out after he passed. So. The commission. What a coincidence. Uncle Paulie, P. Diddy, Cesar Leo, De Janeiro, yeah. Charlie Baltimore, yeah. Iceberg Slim, The That's Most right. Shady, Crunchy oh. Baby. I remember Charlie yeah, Baltimore. Do you know what beef is? I do. Where's the beef? Ask yourself. Uh uh. Do you know what beef is? Come on. Ha 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 ha. Check out this bizarre uh, rapper style used by me. The B I G. I put my key. You put your key in. Money will be seen. We'll reach the fucking ceiling. Check. Check it, my calico been top. Uh -huh. This rap Alfred Hitchcock drop top notch. Player hating gon' stop. Uh, this instant, rappers too persistent. Quick to spit, biggie name on shit. Make my name taste like ass when you speak it. See me in the streets, your jewelry, you can keep it. That be our little secret. See me, uh, be that is, I that is, G whiz. Motherfucker still in uh -huh. my bed. I uh -huh. hope they know my nigga got a fucking kidnap kids. Uh, fuck them in they ass, throw them over the bridge. That's how it is. My shit is he lit. Said, oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, he yeah. said, oh. Yeah, you hear Puffy what in the back. The He's ad libbing. He's like, oh yeah. <laughs> this is wild. This is insane. Yeah, this is, yeah, this is really wild. But yeah. I must say, I yeah. love Notorious yeah. flow. Yeah. I love his flow. But I'ma say this. I believe Puffy had something to do with his death. I believe. I'm not saying he did. I believe it though. Mm. Him and Tupac. All right. Well, but for, for him to say something like that, he knew, but it had to have gotten darker. Well, apparently, after all these allegations and stuff have come out, this, this rabbit hole is very dark. Oh, jeez. Fuck them in they ass, throw them over in. the bridge. Ooh. That's how it is. My shit is oh. laid out. What? Fuck that beef shit. That shit is played out. Y'all got the goal. All I make is one phone call. All y'all disappear by tomorrow. All your guns is borrowed. Uh, I don't feel sorrow. Actually, your man passed the gap to me. Now check this. What's beef? Beef is when you need two cats to go to sleep. Beef is when your moms ain't safe up in the streets. Beef is when I see you. Guaranteed to be in I see you. One more time. What's beef? Beef is when you make your enemies start your G. Beef is when you roll no less than 30 deep. Beef is when I see you. Guaranteed to be your I see you. Check it. I done smoked with the best uh -huh. of them. Shot at the rest uh -huh. of them. Was about a hundred or more. Maybe less of them. Got my rocks off. That nigga from the brook just be wildin' on you. Just be stylin' on so you. Crazy. And I tried to warn you, but your eyes fucked up. Now I cleared them shits with hits. You on the fucking bench. Pardon my friends, but uh, sometimes I get kind of. Peeved at these weak MCs with these supreme ball of life. Lyrics, I call them like I see them, G. Y'all niggas sound like me. Y'all was grimy in the early 90s. Far behind me, it ain't hard to find me. Number one with the Booyaka. Give me the Remy and the Chronic. Oh, man. 
So, you know, it's, it, even now listening to this, because I've heard this many times, and Puffy's always been there in, like, all the Bad Boy songs. But it's hard to listen to this now, knowing what we know about him and hearing him ad-libbing in the back. And he's like, yeah. No, but the craziest Don't thing stop. is to say this about kids. He's not saying this about kids. No, he, he that, that one verse. Yeah, he, that's enough. Oh, okay. Yeah. If... Yeah. I don't care if none of this was going on. If I heard that, I will be like, what the F? But you, and I know some uh, people be like, no, you wouldn't. All right. If you check our reaction mm -hmm. videos, when I hear lyrics, I decipher them. Right. But the, all right. So the other thing is, this is hip hop. And so we all know, in, or most of us know, who grew up listening to hip hop or hip hop culture, whenever it's a rap, because I, I think, you know, th this beef was when he was beefing with Tupac. Um, it... it Especially in like a battle, anything goes. Mm -hmm. People talk about mamas, fathers, families, cousins, girlfriends, whatever. Listen, anything goes. I get that. But nobody plays around or makes up stuff about effing kids and throwing them over the bridge. No one. No people, people, one. There are no have, way. There are rappers that have said worse. No and like way. I told you, well, they gonna be indicted because in nobody in like. Okay, <laughs> let me say this: some of the worst people you know um, in jail. Right. They, if another person comes in with a R charge. A SA charge yeah. against a child. Right, yeah. Those people are in yeah. trouble. Right. Usually kids are no, are no, no matter how bad of a person you are, unless you are evil. Right. Does that to children or plays around with children or saying something like that, unless you right. are I, I, evil. I, I, I get no that. No one I, in their I, right babe, mind. I get it. I get it because people talk about other people's mothers. They even no. talk about God or they'll yes. talk about religion. But, but kids not, uh, are off always limits, off limits. Right. Especially when it comes to S.A. Yeah. Yeah, and killing yeah. them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No way. This is evil. Right. All right. Let's keep Tell them what I do to ya. It's obvious the game's new to ya. Take them ends you make and spend them on the tutor, huh? One shot, I'm through with ya. Beef. beef is when you need two gas to go to sleep. Beef is when your moms ain't safe up in the streets. Beef is when I see you. Guaranteed to be an ICU. One more time, what's beef? Beef is when you make your enemies start your cheek. Beef is when you roll no less than 30 deep. Beef is when I see you. Guaranteed to be an ICU. There be nothing, there be nothing but smooth sailing. When I spit shots, now your crew's bailing. All I got is heat and tough talk for you. Tie you up, cut your balls off just for you. Man, listen, straight torture. Look what that slick shit bought ya. A first class ticket to Lucifer. Real name Christopher. Watch me set it off like this. <laughs> oh, man. This song is way more sinister now. It's you know way what? more thing sinister now. People than... don't play it all about, especially <laughs> with him being Jamaican. Yeah, right. One thing I know most people don't play about is being lucifer right being right. satan being the right. devil yeah yeah most people most people mm. especially yeah. black people right it's, it, because the funny thing is is that although this is hip-hop and a lot of things mm -hmm. this see and this is what i'm saying even in hip-hop uh, there, there is there, a lot of things go that off a lot of things go like i said disrespecting women Mm -hmm. Um, we're talking about the mom, Mamas, yep. Um, murder, yeah. But but there's certain school, lines, that, certain lines that, that people, people just don't, don't cross. Even yep. in the gangster world, yep. There's certain things that people don't cross because gangsters are still religious, and usually kids are always off limits. Yep. And that's like two yep. things that you don't hear a lot of rappers be rapping about. Mm -hmm. Don't play about God. And don't play about kids. Yep. Anyway. Here lies your demise. Close your eyes, think good thoughts. Die while your skin start to glisten. Pale blue, hands get cold, your soul's risen. It's bad cause I just begun. We'll make this shit real bad, I was having fun. <laughs> What's beef? 
what's up. Deep is when you need to cast the door to sleep. Deep is when your moms ain't safe up in the streets. Deep is when I see you. Guaranteed to be your I see you. One more time, what's beef? What's beef is when you make your enemies start your cheek. Beef is when you roll no less than 30 deep. Beef is when I see you. Guaranteed to be your I see you. And I'm through. And I'm through. And I'm through. Life now ask yourself, you really know what would be for life after? Then ask yourself, uh, do you really like after? <laughs> oh, yeah, I like that. Big Nosh, Hitman, baby. So as I said, this is way more sinister going back and listening to it. I know you're listening to this with fresh ears, but I'm somebody, I've heard this for the past 20, 30, however long this has been out. I'm very familiar with this song and re-listening to it now sounds way more sinister than it ever had sounded. But also it puts a lot of things in perspective. As you said in the podcast discussion that we were having where everybody was looking at Suge Knight as being the bad boy of the music industry, the evil music record executives, on here you clearly see and hear how puffy was almost in a bragging right like this guy knows he's in a position of power he knows how sinister or bad he can be these guys are clearly sending a message to Pac or whoever is in the industry like yo you don't know what beef is i think he puffy was more smart about it yeah yeah I absolutely think, we I, were all listening to this like yeah what's beef yo what beef with the east side and not knowing that yo these guys is really doing some dirt. There's really some shit out here. That is, is here it is being uncovered like years later. Mm -hmm. Just crazy, crazy, I mean, crazy, crazy, crazy. I think Suge was more open with his, um, I think Suge, he was like somebody from the hood who uh, came to be a businessman but knew what the industry was mm -hmm. and knew how to handle it, but right. also handled his stuff in a a hood kind of way, yeah. but also knew what type of people he was dealing with, right. but didn't hide it because that's who he was. I, I think however, he did it in a more traditional way. But however, Puff, on the other hand, he went about it in a different way to I, I think there's a difference between being knowing about the industry knowing that I'm a, a bad guy but the difference between a bad guy and an evil guy mm -hmm. and I think Puff was evil and evil evilness always tries to hide mm. that and I think that's why he was able to continue on so long. Yeah. You know? Uh, I think that a lot of people, like, because when we were growing up, when we saw Puff and he was dancing and everything, we didn't think of him being this sinister. Why would a child right. think that? Yeah. You know? Yeah. You don't know about the, the yeah. industry. Right. right, But when that East Coast, West Coast beef happened, I'm like, why? Yeah. You know, it felt very unnecessary. And then when people actually died, yeah. I was like, this is too far. Like, yeah. who does this over right. like an argument? Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. And that's how I it was, was a, like, it was a changing is... point. It definitely was a changing point when when Pac and Biggie died. That was a changing point in the industry. Yeah. And I don't think Suge had anything to do with that. Yeah. Um, but I mean, I don't know. I it's just speculation. Right. But um, I definitely think Puffy also made a lot of money off of Notorious B.I.G.'s death. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Because, I mean, his record sales skyrocketed. 
And uh, after he passed, I mean, people were already calling him the greatest of all time or the king of New York or whatever. But after he passed, that kind of like c cemented that mm -hmm. um, because he not he never got the opportunity to grow old. He never got the opportunity to produce a bad album or he never got the opportunity to fall off. So he kind of passed away and he cemented himself in greatness, you know, because he passed at the height of his career. So there's that. He passed or he was killed. Um, or, I mean... He was killed. He, yeah, he, he was murdered. You know, um, yeah. with Puffy making songs and all this kind of stuff, and then hearing that he really didn't take care of notorious kids, Yeah, you know, it's like, was this really your best friend? Yeah, it, it, yeah. he did to an extent, but um, I, I, I don't think he did as well as he could have as as we saw it as like they were best friends or he mm -hmm. brought them up or whatever uh, i think what a lot of us don't realize is that maybe they were friends but then there's limits to that because there's business you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. but for um but that's a story that his kids would have to tell right. because we don't know what he did for them you know i remember saying something about notorious daughter oh she spoke something. out about it i remember her saying something oh wow yeah, yeah. yikes so, right. I mean, I, I guess all of this is speculation. We're not saying that's actually the truth, but right. weird. Yes, yeah, looking more, more and more crazy. Uh, so, guys, let us know down below in the comment section if there's any other B.I.G. tracks uh, or even Bad Boy tracks that we should be checking out. Uh, I think the rabbit hole goes pretty deep on this stuff, but re-listening to this and rediscovering or just hearing stuff that we never noticed before is very eye-opening. But as always, like, share, and subscribe. Guys, we'll see y'all next time. Take care. Peace.